sure you noticed by now. A new headwear I'm sporting. Made from authentic raccoon. Okay. Now, this particular hat has a lot more uses besides just looking cool. Okay. Now, you notice this tail. Now, there's a purpose for that. When I'm out there hunting Bigfoots, and I draw down on one, and I got a shot. If it's a long range shot, I gotta know what the windage is. So if it's blowing to the left, <coughs> so if it's blowing to the left, I know I gotta shoot towards the right, okay? Or the left, you know, vice versa, whatever, okay? Now, the main function it has, if you can see through your peripheral vision, if the tail is wet, you'll know it's raining. Mm-hmm. Come at me. Bigfoot poops. Next one today. Mm. Mm. No, that would have been yesterday. Mm. Mm. Well, we ain't had no luck spotting and it's talking over sitting around dipping potted meat. So I'm gonna take her on to the next level. I'm gonna take this can of potted meat and I'm gonna set it right here on this knob. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You can see. Set her down right there. And that wind will carry that smell for miles. Bigfoot can smell that for Pretty good ways, I reckon. Or at least I'd like to think so. So, on to the next thing. Okay. Now, I've heard, for some reason or other, you sit around and beat a tree with a stick. Somehow it's like a Bigfoot call or something. I don't rightly know. I'm gonna give that part of the mate a few minutes to get down and win. Then I'm gonna hide here in this creek. Bait on this tree with that stob right there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Give that a minute to sink in. See what happens now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And upon further inspection, I want you to take a look at what I found here. Yeah, look right there. Scientific evidence of a Bigfoot at a Bigfoot house. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. That's the good stuff. I'd like to see what you skepticals got to say now.